happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you have a whole bunch of your friends and family in your house. You like my shirt? <laughs> so I know no one likes cooking videos, so I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to prep a salad. So you guys know I freaking love salads. And this one is probably my favorite right now. So I'm going to make it real quick. Because I'm going to have it as my appetizer for Thanksgiving. I'll show you guys what else we're making too. This olive oil has been in my van. And guess what? It's solid. Crap. I wonder if that's rendered it bad. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ingredients. So one of the things that sucks about this salad is it takes forever because you have to remove all the stems like getting a bag of weed you gotta remove the stems and the seeds <laughs> um so yeah it's like do to do oops yes i washed my hands kale flying everywhere you know Here's a fun fact. When I was in my 20s and even early 30s, um, I actually wanted to be a massage therapist. I'm really good at it. And I enjoy it. But at the time, I was getting my bachelor's degree. So I was like, there is no way in hell I'm going back to school. So there went that. So is anyone else doing a non-traditional Thanksgiving? My friend asked me what I wanted for Thanksgiving because I'm not really a fan of turkey. I do like me some dark meat though. But um, like turkey, turkey legs. And I was like, I don't know, pizza? Because I was like, I'm not cooking. <laughs> I'm not slaving in the kitchen all day. Um, and then he was like, I said, please don't say Chinese. And he didn't, thank goodness. And he was like, well, what about steaks and sides? I'm like, I could do that. So we got two ribeyes and um, we're going to have, I'm going to make Brussels sprouts with bacon and onion and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And what else? I'm blanking. Oh, uh, red, red potatoes, herbed red potatoes. Um, I was going to get asparagus, but they were kind of wilty. It wasn't really looking good, so we skipped on the asparagus. Um, and something else, I uh, just can't remember. Um, but we got just a store-bought pumpkin pie just to have a dessert. Um, and, you know, it's really easy to make, but again, I was like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not really into baking, so... <laughs> So that's what we're going to do, and I've got some Hefeweizen, and some wine, and some whiskey, so we're all set. Thumbnail. <laughs> okay. So, I'm almost done massaging. I still got half a bag left. Kill me now. But let me tell you the origins. Where am I looking? I haven't done this in forever, y'all. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was a professional. Um, so the origins of this salad um, is, it's not original. It's not mine. I can't claim that it's mine. But when I was doing my uh, Austin Pet Sits last summer, um, you know, Central and South Texas, they have a bunch of HEBs there, which stands for here, everything's better, not ham, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> FYI. 
Um, so I used to go to their deli. They have one of the best delis ever. And they had this savory kale salad. And at the time I was doing keto. And so, you know, no sweets, obviously, right? So um, I would always go and get their kale salad because there was no sugar. Well, there was a little bit of sugar in the dressing because it does have honey, but yeah, no. When that's the only sugar you're having, it's okay. Especially when you're eating this, okay? So I said, you know what? Instead of spending all this money getting these little teeny tiny bowls, I'm just going to make it. So I did. Figured it out, looked at, the, looked at their ingredients, obviously. Figured it out. And yeah, it's basically a honey mustard dressing um, with some red pepper flakes. That's basically all it is. But it is so freaking good. It's, it's, um, I crave it now. Uh, and if you try it, don't blame me. Because I warned you. I'm just saying, it's good. But you have to let it sit in the fridge and like marinate. The longer you let it marinate, the better it is. Trust me. Trust me on this. I've done this a few times. <sighs> Gotta roll that lemon to get all that juice out of it. <laughs> it is cold here. It's like in the 30s. The low tonight is going to be like 15 or something. Last time I checked. Blah! I gotta heat up my honey. Yes, I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave. Relax, people. It's gonna be okay. I'm plugged into power in case you're wondering. Do y'all like eating lemons raw? I do. Okay. Now that this Honey is completely obliterated. I always have to taste test it before I throw it on the, the salad, obviously. Now let's see if there's enough dressing for that bowl of kale I made. Let's see, it made half a cup. I think that'll be good. So, let me turn on my other camera and get another angle going. Now, we stir. Watch this, this is genius. told y'all I'm a professional. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, taste test. Like I don't know what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. Definitely needs to marinate. Or not marinate. You know, the flavors and the spices to marinate together. To marry together. Whatever. I usually do it for about 12 hours. But you know, you could go overnight too. And it would be really good for the next day. Anyway. That's it for now. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Hey buddy. <laughs> what do you want for Thanksgiving? We got you this. Salmon, sweet potato stew and gravy. Oh boy, that looks good. Better than this boring old normal stuff, huh? What do you think, baby? Do you want some of this? Hello? Do you want some of this? Yeah? 
Mmm, is that good stuff? <laughs> yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, Louie. I love you. It's our first holiday season together. <laughs> My friend said he needed a lighter, so I'm going to give him this one. <laughs> that I got from Mexico. Oh, that's great. I'm sure he's going to love it.